Hi, my name is Heather and today I'm going to show you how to take all of your pages for your children's book and create a PDF to bring into Amazon KDP. Here are all my single pages for my children's book. If you haven't gotten to this stage yet, then check out my other videos because I have videos on how to create these layouts in Photoshop. The first thing that you want to look at is you need to figure out whether you need a blank page in the beginning. The first page that is going to be in your book is actually going to be on the right side of the spine and it's going to be all by itself. So you're not going to have a page on the left and a page on the right when you open the book because the page on the left is going to be the cover and the page on the right is going to be the first page. So since I have all spreads, so like this is a spread and this is a spread, they need to be next to each other. So the first page of my book is just a white blank page so that way when you first open the book, you see the inside of the front cover on the left and then a blank white page on the right and you flip the page and then you have this one on the left and this one on the right. I hope that makes sense. So if I didn't have this blank white page, then I would have only this one on the right side and then I'd flip and have these two. That's why I need to add this blank white page. If you need to add a blank white page, you can just go into Photoshop and do File, New, and then you just want to make it the same dimensions and everything as your other pages of the book. I'm going to pick inches, and my width was 8.375, and my height was 8.5, and this is because my book is 8.25 by 8.25. 300 dpi and just a white background since we want the page to be white and then i'll make it cmyk and create so this is my blank white page and i'm going to do file save as and then you could just save it as like one first page or something like that and just make sure you pick jpeg and of course, if you want to, this could be a title page. You could have the name of the book and like maybe one little character here or something like that. I kind of went the route of less effort and I just did a blank white page. After you have your blank first page made, if you need it, then you can go into Photoshop and then you want to go to File, Automate, PDF Presentation, pick Browse, find wherever your single pages are saved and then you just want to grab all the pages and click open. These may end up in the wrong order so you can drag and drop them but it also helps to just do sort by name and then that puts mine all in the right order. So just make sure you check it and make sure they're in the right order. Then we want to save it as a multi-page document and you can uncheck any of these boxes that maybe you see already checked. And then you can click save and you can give it a name for the options. We can go to compression and just make sure that you have it on maximum because we don't want any compression in there. And then you can do save PDF. And now it's going to go through all the pages and just open them and process them and combine them into a PDF. Now if we go to where we have our files, here's the one that I just made and we have all our pages there. Now this is ready to bring into Amazon KDP. The other way of doing it is to use an online tool for it. I would only do that if you don't have Photoshop available to you. Then you can use the online tool, but I would definitely use Photoshop over anything free that you find on the web or anything like that. PDF 24 tools ended up being the best one that I could find. And I did look through the terms of service and I didn't see anything weird like your art becomes their property or anything like that. So. I don't believe you have to worry about that at all. So you want to click on images to PDF. 
choose files, select all your files. If these end up in the wrong order, you can drag and drop them. When everything's done uploading, this little create PDF button will activate and you can click on it. And now we can go ahead and download. And then if I open that file, here is the PDF. And we don't have any weird JPEG compression here. As you can see, we zoom in and it looks really nice. And everything is the original file size that I uploaded it as. So that would be the file that you would then upload to Amazon KDP. So you can just use whichever method works better for you. Stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be how to design the cover. And then we'll go through uploading to KDP. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Or you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.